what's up? Aren't you doing it for the likes? <laughs> nah, I ain't doing it for the likes. Ah, uh, 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 oh, okay, oh, hold up, hold up. So you doing it for the pussy? Nah, I, I mean, yeah, no, 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 I, I ain't doing it for that. Okay, then, what are you doing it for? Man, I do it for the culture. What's up, Fatima? Hey. How you doing, girl? Thanks um, for coming through. I'm all right. Through. I'm good. You good? Yeah. Well, how was work today? You know, funny, today Making was my birthday. Laugh. Making people laugh. Oh, at work? Am I like real job? Because you know, Gary, what is it, Gary? Oh, yeah, Jeffrey Owens. Jeffrey, is it Jeffrey Owens? I was like, call his name Gary. Gary, Gary Coleman. Gary Owens. <laughs> you was to say Gary Coleman? Gary Owens. I was like, yeah, you, you could be having day jobs now. It's cool. It's in. It is in. Um, it is in now. There's no in shame. Now. Shit. Oh, shit. Now when you get caught. Yeah. I, I, I'm table, working on my like, day bitch. job hustle right now. Uh, I'm waiting for farmers market to get back to me. Ooh, shit! You know, just, I got some fancy shit I'm working. You got some fancy shit. Yeah. Have you worked fancy jobs before? Yeah. What's the fanciest thing you've done? I used to work at the Peninsula, Beverly Hills. <sighs> what were you um, at the desk, hostess? What? I'm a waitress. Waitress. Yeah. Okay. Was waitress better than hosting? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think yeah. I could be a waiter. It's hard, it's but harder. you know you make good money. But you have personality. You have enough personality. Yeah, you know what is nice always enough. hard for me. I'm always like, like don't say some some crazy shit. Right, and right. You know what I mean. The white people be trying you. Oh, the peninsula was great. Yeah, oof. Yeah. Definitely some some. What was the worst thing somebody ever said to you? Oh, by the way, we are talking Word. with. Uh, I'm shit. I should I should ask how you pronounce your last name. We're talking with Fatima Talia. Fatima Talia, ladies and gentlemen, that is our <laughs> our one of two guests that will be joining us. Uh, Fatima is a funny comedian based from Chicago, uh, now in LA. But she just came to shoot the shit and talk some culture moments. <laughs> but part of uh, some culture like worthy is when you know you work in that side hustle. Yeah. And so you're 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 serving rich white people. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, what is some of the shit that you be dealing with with, with these with the white folks with the white people? I mean, I, I got a new job now. I'm not with the whites like that. Okay. You know? um, but when you were with the whites, we were about to tell me. Oh, well, white, older white men are like kind of, yeah. I didn't yeah. think they'd be into you, no? Oh, man. You're like oh, your dream wow. girl. It's like, weird. oh, my God, you, Fatima. Especially when they're like old, like older. Can you, you spank me with your braids? Oh, man. <laughs> actually, actually, I had this, this She got a table. request for that, right? It was weird. I got this guy. It was this, <laughs> I knew it. I brought it in, and he was like, what are those? You know? And I was like. Braids and he was just like, no. Can I, can I, can I pull them? And this was like in the middle of like, I just a, gave you a filet service. mignon, sir. <laughs> right. So I was like, Can he pull? I was like, That's just some sick. Meanwhile, his wife was sitting dead ass next to him. Wait, wait, wait. He said that he made a request of you. Oh, hold on. It's our uh, other guest call. I'm going to put this bitch on speaker. <laughs> Yo. What up? I just pulled up. Oh, word. Open yeah, that yeah, door. Yeah, come inside. Surprise! Had your ass on speaker. <laughs> Bang. In case Bang. you in case you gave me the, you know, I'm still coming over here. I'm just oh, man, I'm tired. I got a few left to make. Well. Our second guest has joined us. She's just arrived. She here. She, she here. Oh, huh? uh, she needed to take that breath. You can see if she needs that concentrate face, like <laughs> <sighs> compress. Let's talk about oh, it. Oh, wow. Let's talk about it. <laughs> hey. The Asians own this building, so let's talk about it. Hey, they know they can't fucking drive. Oh, mm. wow. Yeah. We yeah. going there. Well, luckily, yeah. the mics didn't catch that. Did they? Yeah. Yeah. It's drive? true. It's true. It's I true. said Asian people cannot drive. Yeah, it's weird. If they really, I don't <laughs> know what happened. I so don't know what joining happened. Joining us is uh, Tierra Maiden. Oh, we got the camera. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. How you doing, girl? I'm good. I'm thanks, here. Thanks for I'm coming blessed. through. You know, I can't put it on my my curl. I feel like my oh, mic. You know, you're not wearing your headphones, so I gotta. Wear I, I don't want to listen to the feedback on it. Oh, um, cool. It's, it's just it just hurts my. I like ass. to have well, the feel have like big, I'm actually I, like. I know, you know I got you. I got you. Hair, this is real so to I me. Need when to you let have this. Yeah, yeah. Let it, let it rock. I gotta let it be and breathe. I like to have yeah. an imagination. Like, imagination, <laughs> like you in the studio recording a song. Oh shit! Can you sing? What? You know, I'd say no. You say no. All right. So what's your go-to karaoke then? I don't do karaoke. Wait, 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 wait. You don't do what do you mean you don't do yeah, karaoke? No. Yeah. I don't know. I've never been into it. Like never I've never been yeah. into karaoke. No, man. And like so when my only, friends you, invite me, you, I'm always like, I'll watch. So you stay at a shower <laughs> and a mirror singer? That's it? No. You don't sing in the shower and you don't sing in front of the mirror? No, man. I'll sing along to like music and stuff. In the car? Yeah. In the car or maybe. That's at, the only time you sing at work. In the car? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I'm, uh, that's I'm, crazy. I'm the coolest motherfucker you ever meet. Like, oh, that's you never because you that cool. That's why. Okay, oh, got you. I'm doing cool. How about shit how about you, T? Um, can you sing? Actually, can you actually sing? I can sing. I can carry a tune. You can carry. <laughs> I'm not a professional singer, but I can carry a tune. Okay, okay now. I have a musical improv group called the Original Laverne and Shirley. Uh-huh. Ooh, yeah. Now you gotta. Now soprano, you gotta drop a song. Then an alto. Then back to the, yeah. I was all in church. You sang in the choir. Yeah, I did. I sang oh, in the choir shit. too. I did. Did you? Yeah. You, you don't believe me? What were you, alto? No, I was a tenor. I don't believe it. Oh, I was shit, a tenor. This is a moment. You but I went, to a, I went to a, a Catholic school. It was, it was, it was, it was really oh, corny. Oh, really? You went to a Catholic school? Yo, wow. Yeah, we're, just, uh, we're saying, uh, <laughs> our God is an awesome God. Yo, I can totally see you <laughs> doing most. that. But I used to just lip sing and fuck everything up. So, like, we used to, though... Not lip Like soon, very soon, we are going to see the king, and I'll be like, "We is going to Burger King," and I say oh, that shit right. No. That's actually that's funny. what you do in Catholic school. I went to Catholic. I just school. fucked you around. Did? Yeah, because yeah, you can't. Cause the it was songs a, it was a draining. private school. My parents didn't want me to wow. go. Wow, you know, the schools in Chicago. My, my grandma thought I like, funk out of public school in Florida, so she crazy. was like, "I'm gonna send you to a Catholic school." Yeah, we would play uh, Uno during mass. Like, no, wow. everybody there was oh, like Baptist. What grade were you guys in? This is high school for me. Ooh. High school? I went to a Catholic wow. high school. Sixth through eighth grade, I was in a Lutheran school and a Catholic school because they were both private. Okay, the, and in okay. high school, they let you back out to the world? High school, I was in public school. And she wow. got fucked up. I took Catholic no, but school you know really what? young, but private school I got was kicked out. Ratchet, too. Oh, they're just as ratchet. They're just in uniforms. Yeah. I didn't have <laughs> horrible <laughs> uniforms. Uh, Gray, our, our green, was and black. Hot. You guys, wait, you had uniforms at Catholic school? For yeah. sure. So oh. this is what happened, though, right? And this is when you, you learn about how money and. and Athletics influence everything, right? So when okay. I first got to my uh, my Catholic school, my high school, we were like a two way, which is like smaller because and in Florida it goes by like the higher the um, the number, the mm-hmm. bigger the school is. So if you're in a six A school, usually it's like public school, it's like thousands right. of kids go there. So we were in a six, small, eight. so we were small, so it's two A. So I went to two A state school, and our football team won won states. They were really nice. good, and we used to have like pack games. Uh, so, Audiences was everywhere. Students' body was all over it. You know, everybody's into it. People come from all over to watch them play, what? right? When you're winning, right? <laughs> Shit is good. <laughs> tuition was like okay, okay, not not too crazy. Our uniform yeah, was real. We I just had we just wore tuition. like we wore like polo shirts and like khaki pants. That was the only thing. The, had, the fright. Wow, so, gray khaki. So great, yeah. Well, brown was brown. So wow, I, school and me. Just, oof, we had about two years of that, right? Then mm-hmm. the coach decides to leave, and when the coach leaves, uh-huh. the players leave. So when the, all the good players left, all the real niggas left, then all, <laughs> all the, the bad bitches left. left or graduated, and then they were in such a hole that they had. He got the story out, y'all. He got the. Yeah, I gotta I'm get like, it out. I got it. Yeah. This is. So this is what happened. They raised <laughs> tuition like a motherfucker, and wow. then to make more money, they changed the whole uniform policy. So then we had to wear these like vests. Or you could wear like the short sleeve vest or the sweater. Right. Are there the any pictures time. that I can find and I pull up what you wearing? Pants. It was expensive. I'm about to research. We have forest green. Like they they split yeah. us up in the groups like Harry Potter too. There was like a Gryffindor, a Hufflepuff. There yeah. was like that kind of shit too that you, they did. I'm with gonna us. hold this against both of you. I'm gonna find mm-hmm. photos. <laughs> I mean, I got, I got pictures. I can share. It. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, I went to Catholic old. school like when I was uh, a little girl, very little. Like I was like mm. four, but I got thrown out. I did. I had to for leave. fighting. What you do at four? Oh, I was bananas. I, I never really was good in school. I was always a. Right, but what what is it at four? That's so so in, bad. That they would kick that a kid did. out. That's a big word I use. Egregious. Yeah, that was like, damn, you did go to Catholic school, fam. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I forget, but I was like, I, I was, I was really like, you know, ADD, bouncing around type of kid. So how did they get you to calm down? They didn't, and that was the thing. And I think they was like, mom, they told my mom like, <laughs> so you just can't, still, we can't. It was a good thing they didn't try to like, you know, we can't do it. medication thing. You know? How oh, they, they did, they did. Good. They tried that. They had the whole thing. But that's my mother was like, we don't want to put it on Ritalin. Yeah, yeah that's, that's like weird. the go to. Oh, it's like my, yeah. yeah, my high school experience was trash. How was your high school experiences? Ooh. <laughs> was fun. it fun? Were you was you Mm-mm. loose? I had fun. Mm-hmm. That's when I knew how to like roast niggas to like, you know. I was losing nice. friends. I was losing friends. But also, <laughs> I went to school. My, I shared a year with my brother. He was a senior. I was a freshman. Nice. So, so they got the good like intro. Cool. Nobody fuck yeah, with so her. So he put right. the fear of God in, in the dudes. You know, so nice. I didn't have to correct. deal with that. And he was like mad popular. And I was like popular by association. And nice. then once he left, I was like, you know. But I, I, I always kind of like rock with everybody. I never really had like... Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, crew, crew. I just kind of vibe with. So, wow, what, what Tierra was, was popular. So, you were like the everybody cute girl? No. Oh, God, no. You're, I was a tomboy. Like okay. Yeah, no, I, like, I was yeah, not. 
that. No, yeah. no. I was super nerdy. Yeah. Really? Was hella glasses, quiet. braces, all that? I didn't have braces, okay. but I had glasses and glasses. I really didn't yeah. talk to anybody. They were not checking for me like that. I was one of the I fellas. was funny. Did they make you play basketball? I definitely was on a basketball team. Okay. I was on a track team. Okay. Yeah. I can tell you had the athletic ability. Yeah, I was on all that stuff, but I was very antisocial. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It's weird. That's why sometimes like you can't... Uh, I think for women more so than guys, but you can't close the book on them when they're in high school because I'm like, because they yeah. can blossom into Listen, beautiful flowers once they graduate. A and lot like, of people give them seven peak. years. Yeah. They hit <laughs> their peak in high school yeah. and then I see them now. Now you like, be like, God. damn. The fall off. Hey, you know what, God, you are good. Is, good. You are good. Father. Right. I definitely you saved me. Yeah, yeah I definitely didn't hit my peak until way later. All right, right. You, you, got, you became a bad, bad chick in college? He's about to say yeah, bad bitch. Right. I'm trying to learn how to bitch him up. Fine line, but I don't know how Chicago women are. Are y'all receptive to bitches or not? Like, so I was just like, let me just call you a bad chick. And you know, yeah, uh, college for sure for me, for sure for sure. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm I was like, at Howard too. I, I oh, had a lot fun. I you went to Howard. Living yeah. your best uh, life. Howard's, living the, my best Howard's got the fun reputation. Yeah, I, you I went to, to Illinois State. Oh, okay, state school. Still fun. That's good. I mean, that's where yeah things took a turn when I went to college. What was the turn? Good turn or? You, you found yourself. Did you let your hoe out? You know what? Your hoe out. I, I, I want to get to that. You know what? I, I had lost my virginity in college. I was oh, pretty late. Hey. See, I was 21. 18 when I lost my virginity. Are oh, you guys like just discovering this shit? These yeah. guys, they're cousins, by the way, but they apparently don't really have that much <laughs> no, and it's together been. time. Because like, I was expecting a more synergy and like, remember that time? But they they learning shit well, about each other We're just learning stuff now. So yeah. I feel like I, I, I had a purpose for bringing y'all together. It was so funny, though. Her, uh, it's your, is he your uncle? Who is he? He is my cousin. Oh my, okay, so your cousin is married to my aunt. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, got yeah, it, yeah. got it. Okay. So, like, it's funny because I've been knowing him for, for fucking forever because they've been together for like so long and she used to babysit me. She used to babysit you? No, no, no. no. My, his, no. His, 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 her cousins. The cousins used to babysit you. Okay, gotcha. Right, right. So, so y'all like around. second or third, technically. Marriage. Oh, by marriage. marriage. Okay, yeah. just by marriage. Okay, yeah. got you, got you. But so. I'm like, I know everyone in that family like so well. That's crazy. And so you know, well. Do you know her family? Not really. No. You know no. of the family? Like, is it Chicago small enough for y'all like, I know families and shit like that? If we went back, well, I'm pretty sure we can connect the dots yeah, at the same time. Point. Okay, yeah. okay. But, you know, but, the, the connecting factor is uh, her Fred, yeah. yeah. All right, so let's get back to Fred. you being, being a freak in Fred. college. Let's, let's, let's explore that route. So you, Man, you, got, it, you got it popping in college. Right. I lost my virginity in college, and now were you did it, did it, did Dick become a, obsessive to you, or you kind of like shot away from it because the experience wasn't good? Oh, you did it in college. See, I had yeah, to like yeah, have yeah. my cherry pop before college. You, you let <laughs> your, so after your brother graduated, <laughs> that's when you start letting uh, niggas hit. No, no, I actually had a high school boyfriend that I carried over into college, and I lost my virginity to him. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. No, I had a high school boyfriend that led over to college, but I didn't lose my virginity to him. Oh. Wait, he Ooh. waited to college and then he got dropped and didn't get Yo, the buns. Yeah, yeah that's I got to up. college and was Smack like, dude, was strong. Stronger and taller. He was in like, college. let me see. Like, that stronger thing. and Yo, taller. They were stronger, tall. And the guy that I lost my virginity with, because I'm like, he was like, uh, what do they call him? A townie. A town. Oh, somebody oh, he local. He was like, local. he went to school there, but like dropped out or whatever. He like, was like older graduated. or whatever. He had but a just car hung around campus. That yeah. Was a dude? Yo, he had a, he had a, uh, what was it called? He had an expedition with TVs in no, it. No, so Damn. he was bagging everybody. Yo, he's let me drive it around and stuff. I used to be like that bitch on campus. Damn. And it's like, That's it was. I, and by Howard have a car to let you drive around campus? No, because I was very meticulous about who I slept with at Howard because there was a high A's rate statistically Damn. <laughs> at the time. And then she, she had that different world episode. What is happening? Head, I, was, like, I thought she was going to I'm not going to be Tisha Campbell. I was not no, ready for that. I, I literally... Like, for real, for real. Because okay. like, as as much yeah. as I wanted to like be like, let's have fun. Because I'm sure there were a lot of fine brothers. It was a lot of fine I'm men. I'm sure. Right. But I did not think you were going like to say that. Coast. I think I'm like, there was a high percentage of holes. You were like, eight. Eight. I was like, nigga, like, nigga dying. Straight like, it, And it. it freaked me out. And most people was aware of that too. Like most people, you know, were cognizant of the fact that, you know. People would just be too. Yeah, so. But that's smart. He was like, I would try I'm good. And I always, you know, I ain't like to have too many people at once. Anyway. You know, okay, like so it. are you saying you, you have been able to juggle, but you don't have to juggle too much? I can juggle as a woman. I as a woman, can you juggle with not getting caught up? Too? No, I, I'm Ooh. very honest. It has nothing to do with I me, like me being question. caught up, though. It's great. Yeah, I like, Eddie, I like I'm in a question. season right now being a whole grown-ass woman where yes, the men that I know yes. know about the other men. Mm. Until Ooh. I am married, yes, I am single. <laughs> so I don't, I'm not going to lie to you about who I'm with, what I have going on. If you're going to ask questions, I'm going to give you answers. I don't have to, I don't, I'm not going to lie. Like, why? I, I like, like this it. this term because like we it. we talk a lot about this stuff when we're not on uh, um, yeah. uh, when we in this comedy streets and uh, you have this thing with the with the righteousness righteousness mm -hmm. 
Um, yeah. uh, like, Charlamagne. Holy, holy hussy is what my friend. Holy hussy. Holy, <laughs> holy hussy. She uh, she has these terms, and I and I holy, like the term. Holy hussy is hilarious because oh, that's I, like I like that you have a philosophy, a code of how you want to go about your life until the circumstances change. I think yeah. that's important. Like if you have these principles that you abide by, or that you're gonna you know at least like live out. You, you'll you stay true to yourself yeah. and you're not going to disappoint yourself. And it's what I want back. I'm a very, right. I'm very um, aware of how I move and yeah. and what I give back, I will give out. I like to get back. So if I give you honesty, then I want that back. You don't have to lie to me and say I'm the only one, whatever else. And you're a fine, attractive brother with a lot of stuff going on. I doubt it. I doubt that I'm the only one. So let's just oh, put, put oh, the gotcha. cards on the table. Right, right, right. And let's just go from there. Let's get to connect, get to know each other, and and we can, you know, just do you just think? Build. Do you think that, that, that you feel that way? Because now are the times, like how dating has definitely changed. Oh, do you think you feel that way? Because you feel like 90s love is just like, or the, what we used to think of about old Because I, I find it, I hear so many women talk this way now. Uh, yeah. so tell me about this. Versus put how me on, put me on, in my past. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, it... <laughs> I say brothers from the south still get it. Okay. You know they the the value of a stuff. yeah of of a union of a partnership. Um, but do you think that they that doesn't mean they're faithful? Even though they they they, they uh, profess that stuff, do you think they live that out too? Well, I think it's some men that still hold true to their integrity enough to be like, yo, I am dating other women, so I don't want you to to get hurt if that happens to come up like just oh, okay honesty. you're saying that that honesty part th those brothers in the south they give you that no I feel like a lot of brothers from the south and even midwest depending on where you're from because a lot of our family is from the south right. have that mentality where we are bred at a young age where family is very pertinent like mm -hmm. uh, family structures, like the foundation of everything you're taught like you know family, career, love and mm -hmm. all of that like my parents got married at 17, 18, they, they've been together since they were 12 and 13. Are they still together? They're still together. Each yes. other's best friends. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, and, and I meow, too meow. was engaged at a young age at uh, really? 23. What wow. happened, if I can ask? He was eight years older than me and just mentally, spiritually, um, and I, I, I outgrew him. Emotionally, I, I outgrew him. Wow. So you know, so, you did you move to LA. LA with him? No. Oh, I was engaged. See, I moved with my... Are you engaged? Oh, man, yeah. Ooh, Have you been married? Child. No, nah, I've been engaged twice actually. Damn, uh, two niggas put a ring on it. It never works out. Guys. How did they, how did they, how, did, how did you decide? You know that what's have, really this ring funny? Has to go back to you. Let me tell you. You, you know what's funny? Like we're going back to college. I realized like I have male mentality when it comes to dating. I've always had issues with like commitment. It's just. So are you you're saying that you get attract you get you get a, you get an urges and attraction to other stuff? Oh, and you I'm, wanna, and you yeah, wanna, and, you and wanna, like, like oh. I'm, you bit. I don't want to sound shitty on the. It's radio. not sounding shitty. It's no, sounding true to I yourself. So you just real. felt the urge to just want to hook up with other guys, even if you didn't care. It wouldn't even necessarily and like go into always hooking up. I just had always had a, a what do they want to call Emotional it? A wandering connection. eye uh, yeah. or other shit. Wandering I mean, eye is everybody. But I though. think that's okay if you define what type of relationship you want up top. You can be yeah. married and say, hey, listen, we can be discreet about it. You do your thing, I'm gonna do my thing. Right. Don't make me look crazy. Like, I believe in those marriages too. You want to yeah. set your, like, I thought that that's something that I could possibly entertain, but I might be crazy, you know? Mm. I might not I like mean, that. As, as I get <laughs> older, I don't, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not opposed to open relationships. You're not yeah. opposed? Uh, no, not okay. unless, especially. Especially if you both are on the same page and there's rules and you know what the rules are and it, like, yeah. it has to be some the problem sort of is when niggas be in an open relationship the and then fall life. in love with the other one. That's yeah, the, that's, 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 that, that's the rule. Yeah. But I mean, it's I'm hard though. Like you no, can't it's not. That, no, though. no. There is there's ways to get around that. See, I'm too territorial. You can't. So you are territorial. I am. I try not to be. Yeah. Um, but I'm a Taurus. Oh wow! Are you yeah, blaming your sign mind. now? Your yeah, sign is the I'm reason why. So I know what I want. I want. I'm an Aquarius. Yeah. What, what I does want. Y'all look like so conditional to the sign. I feel no. like it's, I What's don't your know. Sign? Tell us. I'm a, I'm a Capricorn. I don't believe in any of that. Capricorn. I'm a positive my guy. Nigga was a Capricorn. Oh, wow. are, Capricorns are dope. 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 When you all are at a place of knowing yourselves, until then, y'all will fucking taint everybody that you come across. Wow. Enter. Yeah. Oh, shit. You will okay. taint it. And you will okay. do it in such a underlining way that you won't even know. But one day you wake up and be like, damn, I too am broken. 
all well, that Tierra's work I put in. Stuff, so. <laughs> and I'm glad you can tell me about this stuff. No, is, uh, I, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like as an Aquarius woman, we definitely get bored fast. I, ah, okay, I so that's what Aquarius. it is. You Ooh. get bored. Uh, it's not even like I can. I can be in love. Like I can act right in love. Like, okay. and I can love one person. I think that's very hard for me to love more than one person. Yeah, but like, there's no way that you're gonna be. I'll get bored. I'm just like, who keeps? Who really keeps their head down? Like men or women? Like I oh, never. Oh, let's not expected. even act. Like, come on, fences. He was yeah. cheating on her back then. Well, I didn't see hanging fences. up clothes and shit. <laughs> It's like these niggas been lying hanging since, up clothes. since hanging up clothes. I'm not, I'm not since slavery lying. days. Since, like, do we really know if <laughs> Eve ate the apple? Like, really? We, Facts. Like Adam could have, you he know, he's oh, been throwing everybody up under the bus. So you think what do you think Adam did? The time. I think Adam was like, yo, I ate the. He ate the apple because he wanted to eat the and apple. He gonna say, yeah. She ain't tell me to eat the apple. I think the dick was good and he hey. gave her the apple and she fell for the. Bullshit. You think he fed her while they was fucking? Like, <laughs> no, you know how it is when you when you fucking somebody and came in like wait. He, he no. <laughs> they offer you anything, you'd be like, "Oh, let me try." Look at right. and then now, mm. now you, now you do. Because if it was trash, she would have snitched. Like, you know what I'm saying? This nigga ate the apple. Or you gonna ask questions to if the dick is trash? Why? Why are you trying to make me like? If if it's good, you're not gonna be like, "Why?" You're gonna be like, "Oh, thank you." And he right? Dead, dead in the up. Now I see why y'all cousins. <laughs> it's starting now. Y'all starting to Here we go. be on the same. Bit. So I got a question. So with how you approach uh, dealing with men mm -hmm. and the philosophy that in this stage of your life you're going by, do you try to like? Maybe put your friends on the tight thinking that way and like trying to like see if not to say you got to get them to think how thinking? you think. What? What's my way of thinking? Let's define this. Your way of thinking is uh, how you want to approach dealing with men in, in, in the situation. So it's like dating. Dating. Yes. Okay. No. You, now, obviously, women have different views about how they date. Sometimes yeah. women don't feel like they can share because they're afraid of being ridiculed. Yeah. So, like, are you, do you kind of keep that to yourself, to the chest? Or do you, like, can you talk to your friends about that? Have your friends tried to do it Absolutely. your way? Absolutely. I mean, no, I think you have to find what works for you. But me and my girls, we talk. Like, because we, we, you know, pray for each other. We cover each other. We're, you know, we support each other. So, um... I, like what? Like my way of dating isn't shameful. I'm looking all at your messages. She's right. like, she ready? This, yo, if we were together, I, like, I could not keep the phone around her, yo. Look, it, but it was just so like natural. I'm like, nah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah we like, oh, wow. You know what it is? The Capricorn <laughs> nigga had an issue with the phone, and then that's why. <laughs> It was a phone thing. There was, there was a whole. Bunch are you guys? Of, you know, are you guys phone women? Like y'all uh, check nah, phone? You guys know the passcode? I used passwords. to, but I don't. I don't do that anymore. I don't care because I feel like when you, you know what, I actually regret something. that I'm not that type. Really? You oh don't, man, I don't care at all. It's a waste of energy. It's like you gonna Sometimes do what you, you gonna do. Up like this nigga. Okay, so like, did, did you find something that you didn't want to find? You when always you do. Phone? You oh, you always, always do. do. Okay, what 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 bothered you? Like, if a guy had pictures of like pretty famous, no, I found him. No, I found him with a real girl that he was cheating. A whole ass real girl. He had a whole tape. Like oh, like no, and no, like, a like video. it was pictures of them, it was text messages. Like, when you look, you're gonna find, but oh, also, you, are going you don't even find. have to look, you just feel it in your spirit when something, yes, right. come through spirit. You know what I'm Let saying? Me, that's a word of discernment is a real thing, though. A, woman, right. a woman's intuition, intuition be so on point so it's like it's it's the prelude to you checking that phone and the reason what's prompting you to check is because some ain't sitting some right, don't sitting right some ain't come right. through you know what i'm saying and so oftentimes it is some messy stuff yeah. but, okay. but back to yeah. what you were saying with dating i i'm about honesty right now in this season yeah. and until there is a spirit a person a man that that meets me in my life where where mm. i met and we can kind of vibe and build then yeah. we'll go from there but for right now i'm just enjoying yeah. in, entertaining different people and they and they know that yeah. that's where i'm at right now that's what's up and that's men are naturally end. competitive so that everybody want to be number one anyway yo yeah, okay let's talk about that oh my fighting. god yeah but they don't really fight you know but yo, you, i gotta I hear what you about to say go yeah ahead, but like no i was gonna say I'm I'm currently in an open relationship. We're going on like a year. Oh, look at um, you! Yeah, it's, that's hey, good. I, I like that. Go yeah. for it. I'm currently in an open relationship. We've been I going on for it. a year. If it makes you happy, um, do it. Things are good, but I I do have other people that I hang out with, and I find it mm. where like men are always like, oh, okay, you got a boyfriend, I ain't got a blah blah blah. They one up you, right? They try to. No, nah, no. Nah, the more the more that they know that you have someone else that you love and you care about, and it's just they pursue whatever. It. Now they all so. You really gonna stay with him, or they be trying, and you be like, "What like a is this?" Joke, like, but it's like a hint. It's a hint of uh, there's more in there than what they, they, they yeah. start getting more into you because it because it's because now you're like kind of unavailable to a certain extent. I had a recent situation with with one Ooh, of them, shit. and um, I, we hung out, and I was like, "Cool, it was fun, great," you know, because he's I love him, he's fun, he's you know, but we'll never be a real thing. Okay. So I had to go home, you know, and I was like, "So you can't text me anymore now." So it was great. 
I'll get with you later. And then it got turned into a whole thing. It was like he turned into a bitch. He was like, so what does this mean? Da 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 da. Uh, At this point, I had to block this person for like damn. a day and wake up and be like, let me just really explain this to you. Like, I'm not just telling you this to be telling you this. Because sometimes they think, yeah. as a woman, you couldn't do that. Right. So they think you're telling them that. To blow a, them off. To make them feel, no, even to make them feel jealous or something. When in all mm-hmm. actuality, I'm like, the way our relationship works, I can't create another a relationship. relationship with you. But like, I can it has enjoy to be, you for the time. It has to, the way that we are, it has to be like, oh, okay, I want to go to the club tonight and hang out with XYZ. Cool. I can't spend a night with you. I can't. We can't start creating, you know, anything that's going to create a bond. Yeah. You know, it has to just be what it is. And I can't co- constantly see you either. Mm. So if I kick it with you last weekend, you can't see me again next weekend. Because that builds that builds issues. Right. Yeah. I dealt with some girls that I was, like, like seeing this year <laughs> through and through. And um, so now I'm not actually in my like first it. relationship. And uh, I noticed a quick shift from when it was the girl I was just kicking it with and you know, hooking up with from time to time and, you know, and befriending. And then so when she's my girlfriend and how there's like another role uh, or uh, there's other expectations that come with that. So like it's the stuff that I never paid attention to because that's just not how I, I, I was ever living or how I ever was with someone. It's like, oh, wow, I can't I can't do it this way anymore. Like I have to, um, yeah. you know, it, it just always felt like. I mean, the, they always tell you job is commitment, it's work. Mm-hmm. And. I know for a long time it wasn't that I didn't like being a idea of being a boyfriend, but it was it's just that I didn't want to do it seven days a week. I oh, used to just like is, being with girls I can't three do that days in a general. week. Like that's two days a week. Me. Like I'll be your weekend boo. Like or, or during the week if your work schedule is benefits it that way. Cause I'm trying to do stand up, I'm trying to do shows anyway. Every day. Right. That, you that is are I, and no. if you bring a light into my life, I can I believe no, in that's love. Not, I believe it's in not about the light thing. It's it's just that the the um the responsibilities that a boyfriend or, or your girlfriend boyfriend upholds yeah it's not something that I ever wanted to do. What do you Seven, mean responsibility? There's respons- Okay, so like when you uh, go out somewhere or whatever accountability accountability. The it's niggas, also responsibility. Niggas yes, don't the, never the, like accountability. The, the check-in thing, the you text you, I, "Hey, I, I'm I, here." I, 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 I just don't uh, like uh, too like like a simple thing clingy, of like I yeah, and then I feel like that causes which most people have an issue with, whether they want to believe it or not, codependency. Right. Yeah. Well, well, that's what ha- that's what happens in, you need in, to in the relationship. But it doesn't have to always be that way in every relationship. It might just be based off the person. You might have sure. a woman that comes into your life just like do your thing. You in this industry, I know women gonna be in your face. Whatever, I see you when you come home. I'm building over here because there's a lot of women out yeah, here that's yeah. like that. They don't got time to be trying to run behind a dude, right. check up on him. Well, none w- of that. One time, it was just kind of like I used to, you know, I casually would tell people or girls that I was seeing, it's like, yeah, I might drop my f- person off at the store, I might pop in the club real quick, and then I might be done or so whatever. And so, but because I didn't say it clearly and then communicate that effectively, she actually like waited up for me, and then I was like at the club still doing comedy shit. And then she got mad and texted me. It was like, you know, I'm never waiting up for you again or whatever. I'm like, why'd you wait up for me? Like, why didn't you just ask me if I was coming? Like, I didn't understand that I was supposed to let them know, give them an update. Like, no, I, I'm actually not going to be getting home this soon or whatever like that. I'm yeah, because that I mean, comes with communication. Yeah, I was going to be like, this doesn't sound a like a, a relationship issue. But it sounds like, like you failed to text back. Nigga, but I had told, told them that I'm going to... I told them I'm going to... I was them, waiting for the whole night. I, like, I was like, I don't know what I like. I said, I'm going to this comic club, whatever like that, and I'm going to get some food. Bro, you just didn't text her back. It's not about texting. We're on the phone. We're on the phone. do, which is not communicate effectively. I told you on the phone what I'm doing. No. No. Then I have to tell you, reiterate again the specifics of whatever. Like, changed nah. plans change changed. but you didn't communicate that when they but changed. i already said i'm probably gonna go to the club and this and was then... a girlfriend yeah, yeah oh nigga, no nah, i mean nah, nigga. i'm nigga i'm in an open relationship <laughs> and like i could be out with somebody else i gotta be like i'm at home i'm about to go to bed but like, see you say that stuff like I, yeah i can't I just be out like, and just be like i told him i was out <laughs> Right, that's but that's what I've, I've always gone out. Like nah. that's my that's my thing. You just a trash communication in anything. Trash though. Don't give me trash communication in any relationship you in is like key though. Are you still say don't utter those words out into the universe. 
Aww. Miss Positivity. Are, are you in a relationship I now? I just told you. Yeah. Oh, this is that person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, y'all made up. It's good. I'm of course. Liam. I mean, look, Liam my thing is, look, so don't, be up up the <laughs> don't be holding shit over. Don't be holding shit over. What you say? I said, so you finally showed up at our house from the club. <laughs> Six days later. <laughs> Six days later. All right, all right. No. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I like it, though, for the most part. It's, it's a good feeling. Relationships are good. I, 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 as Sierra said, I love love. Like, I can't be mm-hmm. without, like, love. Like, I'm, I'm not good at it. Mm-hmm. I, maybe I'm like I'm, maybe I'm like a nigga. I need like a baby mom at the crib or something like. Mm-hmm. That. Mm-hmm. It's like I, I like I, to I, run around and be on some bullshit, but I need a nigga at the crib to love me. See, I love it. I love it. Uh, no, I'm in such a space where I'm enjoying me time. Like yeah. I'm enjoying traveling when I want, doing what yeah, I want, yeah. like entertaining who I want. Like, I just I'm want somebody just else to pay for my, my travel. So I need, I need love. No, <laughs> hey, the team are just it. trying to get a flight. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. hey, because <laughs> also you get to a place, especially in this industry, where you have to, in a positive way, recharge yourself. You know what I'm right. saying? No, you definitely Do you feel like these you guys weigh down your emotions? And then some it, of it, it them. So you, you got to be strategic on who whose energy yeah. you entertain because like, it, yeah. it, it can be too much. As you get older, I mean, of course, you mature. Like now, I feel like I ain't got no. If you around me and I feel like you sucking any type of energy from me, I don't even got to tell you that I'm about to leave. I'm just going to call the Uber and exit stage left. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm just what, that quick. Yeah, like what? Why? Yeah, we, time is running out. Yeah, time is precious. They they asking for my rent again. So do your boyfriends no or do your do your, do your do your guy friends do they uh, like your comedy? Like which is stuff you talk about? Like do you guys talk about this kind of stuff on stage? Yeah, I, you know it's funny. You know. Somebody told me the other day, like, you know what's funny? It's like you cute, but you you act like a nigga on stage. I like that shit, and I was like, so I guess niggas like my comedy. Okay, it was like you act like a nigga. I was like, I, I, yeah, I grew up in Harvey, nigga. <laughs> How about you? Harvey. I definitely, my stuff is more female driven. You okay. know what I'm saying? But Tear men, men rock like, hell yeah, I'm not going to let that Yeah, I'm again. Right, right. Yeah, I, I, I've been trying to like let females think and, and stand in their, in their pain and use it for purpose. So I talk about real shit on stage that I've experienced. I talk about, mm-hmm. you know, uh, what if I went the other way? You know, if I didn't have a father in my life, I would be a supreme Yeah, you do bring up your big father. <laughs> wow. So you're, you're saying the reason that you, because you had this, father that was in your life he saved you from being a complete hoe I mean I think it has something to do with it really you know? why do you, why do you fight so hard for that, for that, for that well, um, for point one I think a father's love is so precious like that's the first mm. love we experience on this earth especially Deep. from the opposite sex that teaches us Deep. how to Deep. value ourselves how to love ourselves how we should be treated and when it comes from dad is law when it comes from daddy is law it's like this oh true. a man should open my door okay like you it's like this this innocence that comes with a man teaching how mm-hmm. uh, teaching you how you should be treated right in this world so i grew up with lots of love lots of integrity um i'd rather struggle before i you know sleep with somebody for money like i wish nigga that was not the case because wow. sometimes rent, this is like how you, you know that we're like cousins that are, that are opposite <laughs> right i'm like cause i'm like low key everybody. i was walking with my friend yesterday and i was like bitch i'm living life wrong I'm she was like saying. why i was like i'm cute out here and i got a job i gotta right. start fucking for things but I'm saying no I I, I would teeter on that but then I go back to my father who's like you a queen you need to cherish your body it's a temple that's dope nigga because that's not what my dad said to me he was like you just like your mama you a bitch (laughs) and I was like you right I'm about to (laughs) I'm about to leave out of here and see who can pay for my food right No, I was yeah, like, hey, that's di- listen. I was telling somebody the other day, I was like, son, because I got a therapist. Oh, that's and, like, good. I'm glad. Yeah, I, I figured. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. That yeah. Really you know, did that really happen? Did that really happen? Did your daddy really say that to you? Oh, yeah. He's always like, you just like your mama. Like, God, you're fucking like. That's just funny to me now, though. Damn. Like, in that, it's to me. At the time. At the time. That's harsh. As a kid? No, no. Okay. But see, it's different from when. Yeah, I was probably like, it's different from when the mom said to the son. Like, you just like your daddy or like that. I'm like, all right, but I mean, I know my I know who my dad is. I'm not like I'm not like that nigga. And a double back, like not every woman that doesn't dad, have not, a yeah. father, you know, isn't a hoe. I'm just saying the likelihood of doing hoe, hoe shit, shit yeah. is, is, de- is, de- is high. Oh, okay. So you're saying if, it, if it I didn't have be, this memory to latch on about these things that my dad would say to me. I probably would disregard that conscience and just do what I feel like I exactly because I, I still hear my daddy saying your body is a temple. Your body, you I are live receiver. Where, like you low are key, receiver. Is your father on Instagram? Because I'm about to follow this. Because <laughs> I'm about not. to step my motherfucking <laughs> you know. self esteem. Well, and I would hear that. Bring it so to when when I used to want to do ho shit, I hear my father like, Yo, you, you, how much you, is you, the ho shit is urging inside y'all? I mean, I had a oh, yeah, gentle uh, whole season. Did y'all fight it? How about how often? How hard is it? Whole season. A gentle whole season. Yeah, last time it was popping. Wow. Um, 
And then I, I got, might have been home I got for a while. <laughs> again, like, oh, I don't know what father's love. So I don't, all yeah, you have to do is just balance income and, and, and the whole season, and then it won't be a problem anymore. You know, balance just, income. And I want my blessing. I want to see how you are with me. money. I'm very responsible with money. Right. Are you? No, yeah. but I'm talking about like when you're, when you both are like thriving with, and you're making coin and money really isn't an issue anymore. Mm-hmm. Like you're paying your bills comfortably, you're traveling comfortably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then how are you going to, Balance the, the the two the host, things out, yeah. The host. Well, you know, I, I was in a season like that where wow. everything was just like nice and cushiony, and it was cool. But then I I wanted a relationship, so I wasn't mm. on that. And then it got right. to a point where it's like that will come when it comes. Like just yeah. enjoy yourself, girl. You never gonna be this fine again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, don't waste your. I'm glad y'all you know, know that. Don't like waste your I pretty. need you to embrace this season yeah. now because I've been meeting so it. many older women in their fifties and sixties yeah, and forties that just be like, "Oh, girl, I wish I was in my twenties mm-hmm. and thirties, and I wish I, I was able to do this. this." So you're doing right. the shit that they wish they would have did. I'm living life for all of us. You'd be like, "We sucking a dick for each and every one of them now. <laughs> each and every I'm one of these not, hoes are getting now." I got. Let me ask you this. So do y'all? Y'all, I, I was having this discussion with my girl, As too. As hit my mouth. Like. All right, all right, be careful. Not, not that <laughs> not, not right Relax now. on that one. Um, I was trying to tell my girl, right, like, you got to, like, love sucking dick to be good at it. Yeah. Some girls don't it's love sucking dick. You got to love the nigga because dick is just not good. Well, no. Like, the look of it. You got to love the dick that's the dude. That's not true. You got to like love the dude weird. that the dick is attached to. Yeah. You got to love that's, the dude. Yeah, that's you true. You got to be attracted to the dude and you're attracted to the dick. Yeah. Okay, but do oh, you unless still... you was really drunk, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, like I, I had to throw that in. Like when, uh, <laughs> I never you have got to be drunk. drunk to... I'm like, ah! I mean, so, if you don't love him, yeah. yeah. Did you? Okay, so when y'all were learning, did y'all watch videos to get good, or did you guys just love the oh idea my God, of the man no, so much no. that y'all decided to do I was taught by a gay man. Or he taught you how to a gay I guy. Taught yeah. All right, how to give head? A gay guy taught me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's the best person to teach you. Mm. How about you? Who taught you? Or did, I had a relationship, so I did. I, I practiced. So he coached you? Or you just practiced? Or you just, in your mind, coached, you just thought of yeah. something you want to do? Yeah, I mean, but also, how can I wear this? Um, my family is very open, if you will. So, you know, my dad had a porn collection. He gave it to my <laughs> brother. You know, so I would look at films nice. and stuff. So you, you know, watch, my okay. older brother. And so, like, the sex talk in my family wasn't like this passe thing. Like, we we had talk. Really? Oh, man, I never got no talk. Yeah, so we, I mean, yeah, granted, I own. ain't always want to listen. Like, that's nigga, why no. a nigga lost age virginity at 21. It, nobody gave me the books. <laughs> like, um, well, you could have, nah, and I the would, black girl lost, or you yeah. did 21. You did the right thing. That's you waited until you yeah. found somebody you liked. So it, it, oh, it worked out. you, yeah. my Like, before I even lost my virginity, I I talk to my mom and I That's say, hey, up. mom, can you put me on birth control? Like, I'm thinking about having sex. Yo, that, y'all up yeah. in here like full house. Yeah, like, we like full house. seven yeah, heaven in this Cosby stuff. stuff. God we damn, Cosby. this is great. Uh, yeah. My mother did not do it that way. She would laugh at this, but she'd be like, you better not be fucking. That's, damn. Yeah. That was my birth control. It was like, don't be fucking. Okay, I got I one. Love it. I, I want to shift to this. So we had some things happen. Um, we lost our queen Aretha Franklin a couple weeks ago. Right. Did anybody watch the funeral? Uh, I know you watched the funeral. Yeah, I'm like, I, just I watched some of the I saw funeral. my auntie in the <laughs> it front It took me three row. days. Yeah, you was, your story, your timeline was cracking me up. You and uh, Keisha, um, <laughs> her shit was funny. What did you think about the the pastor nigga? I, I didn't who 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 grew up uh, grande. So I didn't catch that the first time. I just was laughing at the Taco Bell joke that he said, which was kind of. A little Racist. fucked up, but that shit was funny. I was laughing. I ain't gonna lie. And then when motherfuckers was pointing out how he was really gripping her and even getting some she of her boob, and uncomfortable. she and I kept watching. I'm like, wow, this dude was really. It's he was doing the most with that shit, and situation. he was like, I didn't see any. Like, I, I'm. He felt sorry. I don't know if I did or what I did. It's like, no, nigga, you absolutely was gripping the side like yeah, that. Now, you ladies, unfortunately, where you guys are in a male uh, dominated industry or. A lot of guys do what we do in terms of making a living with making jokes and stuff like that. And you're in the clubs, we in the nightlife and stuff like that. Now, do you guys deal with a lot of that stuff like on the regs or like? Well, I'm not. <clears throat> well, the comedy clubs, yes. Nightlife is different from work. Like comedy clubs to me is work. Like so, my my state of mind <clears throat> is not on that at all. And I don't cross that boundary with my peers. Right. Um. <clears throat> and I think. It's all in how you carry yourself. Like certain men will try you regardless, but others know your energy and your vibe. I don't put out that vibe that it's like, yeah, come and get at me, come and talk to me reckless, like right, ever. Right, 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 right. And so, and you're saying like when you just like somebody has a special and there's an after party somewhere, so like all of us are like are like kicking it. Like you guys have never really had to do too much with comics coming at you 
Uh, I've had a few, and I've had to check a few, and you know, we we do you check on the spot, or do you oh, like, or you call spot. them the next day and like I, I check know. on spot. You tell them like, oh, let yeah. me talk to you for a minute. Yeah, like yeah. yo, that's not cool. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like if need be, it, it doesn't. It hasn't happened often to me, but there have been times whether it was in a text message or what have you. Like I'll call them out. Like nigga, yeah. you got a girlfriend, right? Nigga, you got a It'd wife. Be a lot of that too. Nigga, you What's got. That? You know what I'm saying? Wow. Like, yeah. like, yeah. and, and I put same. them and and I'll go into like roasting them mm. so they know no, like, like we on the same yeah. way. The same you know level, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, don't yeah. like. I'm your peer, and that's okay. where it's gonna stay. Could yeah. you date a comedian if he came at you correctly? No. And he was single, and he was he no. did all the criteria thing. No. Nah. No. You just can't do it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's like my number one rule. <laughs> All right, maybe not dating. Have you hook, hook up? No? I've no. I, I had up. one relationship with a comedian when I moved out here. He was a church comedian and he he was the most insecure dude. Like he had an ego. He was a narcissist. And so mm. he got this high off of like favorites. being on stage no. <laughs> and stuff. So like it became like a lot of women that happened in that that process. But like I I've always been a person that never dated anybody I went to high school with, the same high school. I didn't oh, date wow. the same oh, person like- at Howard. I would always, I'm at Georgetown. Like, where we at with it? Because I never wanted to shit where I sleep, mm-hmm. you that, know? Yeah, that's mm-hmm. fact. Okay. So I, I don't want to date people in those those arenas. But, like, with comedy, I Acting, maybe actors, a yeah. attorney, maybe a producer, okay. maybe a writer, but not someone that's, that's only like stand-up, pursuing, like, pursuing yeah, stand-up. I can't. Uh, same. Okay. I'm, I'm never, I've had a few, like, I hung out with a few people, but it yeah. never goes anywhere. Nothing ever transpires. Clearly, I didn't learn uh, from you guys that. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, what that mean? You dated how many? I didn't have a data hooked up. Oh, how, oh, so you hooked up with a lot of female comedians? I was like, oh, you did laugh and just. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's like, like I, didn't, I didn't take that. Right. I was like, I don't what's subscribe happening? to that philosophy because I feel like the the issues that uh, that present itself with a a comic or whatever same job it could happen with somebody who's not in your same field. Like, like, because sometimes what 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 I notice is when the comedian couples or relationships have fallouts. And now it'll start with women bringing up something that the guy did because usually the dude will be able to fuck that person in the scenario right. sometimes. And then they'll be like, yeah. And then he put hands on her or whatever like that. And it's wrong to, for a guy to put his well, hands God on her. Damn. But, right, like, but uh, somebody in any field could put a hand on you. It's not just because he's a comic that, also, that happened. we're going to get on stage and blast all of that shit. Yeah, everybody it's knows weird. who you dating. Too, yeah, mm-hmm. like, because I, I put a lot of personal shit on stage. Yeah, Niggas always be like, oh, shit, if you, you date me, you might, don't right. put me in your I hate that. I hate that. I'm like, nigga, you ain't even interested enough. Right. Uh, uh, no, it's, it's actually I think it's hard for women to be comedians in a relationship though too yeah yeah I got a lot of things that we do say on stage for. it is tricky. we're very transparent yeah yeah no so okay so um so with the Aretha funeral that dude yeah I thought homie was a little out of pocket he was definitely out, not even a little yeah. he was out of pocket for that yeah uh who you think had the best set as far as singing Ooh, I, I'm gonna go with Jennifer wow. Hudson. Ooh. Jennifer Hudson came she through. I'm sorry, eyes. Fantasia. With the shoes off. Fantasia took the church. Her shoes off. But I also, Jennifer Hudson was that was my favorite. Also, uh, the bishop did his thing. Yeah, like, he, he yeah. took me back down south to Arkansas church day. Yeah, Which they bishop? Did. Um, what's his name? Uh, is it Palmer? Yo, it Palmer? I don't know. I can't remember. There's a lot of damn bitches. I kept walking away. Sure. Like, was yeah, and the Clark, the Clark heat. sisters. Michael Clark Dyson sisters. Too. Yeah, they were dope too. Yeah, they were dope yeah. too. Yeah. I thought I liked Jennifer Austin. I thought she yeah. did great. Okay. We hype about power season finale. Anybody? Yeah. Uh, I saw you it. know what? I don't you fell off of power? watch it. <sighs> I saw it. I saw it. Yeah. I, saw it. I, I don't really it. watch television, so I don't know. You're not a TV person? Are you no. a movie buff? You like to go to no, movies? No, I'm a music head. So you're all about music. You know like so you know about a lot of good underground R and B right now? Sort of. I'm into Katandra, so What's Katandra that? is dope. Yeah, I li- well, they, he's like a DJ, but he like plays a lot of like what? Would you put it like a um eclectic soul? Or something yeah, like that? it's kind of like he mixes. It sounds like house, house music, but it's a like little yeah, shade, okay. like he's so dope. I went Masego, to this, Masego yeah, is dope. Masego is I, did so dope. A, I did a date night the other night, and I, I took my girl to this thing called R and B Only. Oh, um, oh yeah, pop yeah. Up shit. And I, I, I like the concept of it, but I was mm-hmm. kind of upset because when we got there, I had to go to Anaheim House of Blues, right? And you I bought the one in LA because they had one. They in had LA one at, at the bowl few, yeah, or somewhere, yeah, somewhere big. Oh yeah, the drive all the way to Anaheim for the for Shit. this one, right? And because he was like, yo, they usually have like pop up artists, some mm-hmm. people perform, and you never know who's yeah, gonna they be had there. On Marion last time or Tank, one of them. Shit. So we go there, and I'm like, yeah. So we're probably gonna have a guest or something like that. He was like, nah, this is gonna be a DJ tonight. 
Uh, and I'm like, what the fuck? I don't even could drive out to Ed Arms to hear a nigga spinning 90s and then, and, 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 and yeah, and the shit that came out Listen a couple weeks ago. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he was mixing good. Like, he was taking it back from 90s to the 2000s to yeah, the now. You gotta and it go was to cool. the one, like, in the heart of the city, like LA. Yeah. LA. That's how they be yeah. a pop up artist. Didn't yeah. they have Drew Hill or something come one time? I would go see Drew Hill for 20 I paid $27 for the tickets. I mean, for, like, my ticket hurts. So it was cool, but, like, I didn't get, I didn't take an L like that. But if I had, like, paid, like, for the VIP on it, I would have right. been fucking tight like yeah for a fucking dj to spend this shit i could yeah. fucking make this I playlist mean, myself did y'all dance of course we danced we were there for like a good hour and a half two hours like i like to dance like i don't i, do too. That's I was like, oh, i have fun yeah. i have fun yeah, everywhere that's hard dating a nigga that don't know how to, know to dance. dance like well my boy can't like really dance. dance or like like the vibe with you and have fun yeah but no i need you to know how to dance not like well, it you well, can like that when we talk about that how we talk about the how like what do we need to know how to do what's the criteria you got to know how to catch the beat be in rhythm with the song what songs it doesn't matter whatever, whatever song, song it is. You just I ain't be dancing there. to no mariachi shit or a mother- <laughs> not mariachi <laughs> or hard rock. I'm not. We out here usually it's some soulful shit. So okay. I need you. So are we talking about like 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 you know how to twerk a little bit? So like you expect a nigga to know how to catch and vibe with the twerking or like the reggae or like the nineties shit? I want all shit. of that. I want him to be able to do Two all of that. In. Which is why I love 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 my African men. She told me this. Oh, the, the, the uh, she Nigerian did tell me stuff. This, man. Not just not. There's so many other forms of African. Yes, Nigerian. tell them right here. I'm talking about like the music. Like what? Like Nigerian? Right? Like it's just. I'm talking about the music that's popping right now. Like the uh, the this is Afro style. beat. The Afro beat. That's yeah, shit. That, I love Afro Nigeria. Is like they. Yeah, know. but Nigerians are the only people that that dance to Trust me, I know. Afro beat. But I'm saying or, it, that's the, that, that kind of shit came from there. I'm not saying the men. I know there's other men. Like yeah, but then I'm like there's Ghana, Senegalese, Congo, Sudan. Yeah, and they also have Moroccan. They got their shit. It's the same shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, all right, then. Mm-hmm. All right, so well, we need to go dancing with, with, with your dates. And then oh, no. Nah, I date. can't take him out. He can't dance. He can't. He, oh. he get an, well, you get another one. I, know, I, I got, I'm to. talking about right. dancing one right now. Okay. Oh. So, uh, Is sex good, though? Because I always whew. used to say, I, I, I mean, like, I'm not going to choose nobody that ain't got attention now. Okay. So, we ain't got enough time for all that. We're wrapping it up. I just find that men that don't know how to, like, dance. That's not true. It's so sloppy. I heard that that was broken. Like, that whole statistic was broken. But I haven't tested it out. T- all your uh, I mean, I have tested it out. It was trash. <laughs> my bad. Yeah. Like, so oh, for you, you, no. you've attracted bad dancing, bad dick niggas. Yeah. Ooh, okay. wow. I've, 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 I've associated it. A few. But she's had some good ones in there, too, but they just, you know. Wow. It's, um, not, so it's not a lot of them. I want to uh, ask you guys to uh, have some shows that you have at the end of the month, if possible, because this is going to be coming out in a couple weeks. So. Do you have anything like towards the middle to end of September that you can plug? Uh, I will be in Chicago. And where can they follow you? And so I don't have the venues yeah, as of yet. I was going to say me. So where can they follow you? And then they you know just keep up with your stuff. Ooh, you can follow me at T.R. Monique on IG. It's T-I-A-R-R-E. Monique is all together on IG. On IG. That's yeah. that's the main main That's thing. the main page. Facebook is cool, too. You can friend me. Uh, T-R-T-I-A-R-E. But, 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 Maiden. My government. Right. M-A-Y-D-N. But you'll be on that IG for sure. I'm on IG. You can hit her up. You can DM her, guys. Yeah. Don't DM me. Or ask for shows. Where are you performing? Okay. If it's about shows. <laughs> Right? Because <laughs> I'm like... If they want to get at you, Fatima? Uh, it's F Fatima Talia. Everything. Spell that, please, because F- niggas wait, is illiterate. Uh, they... <laughs> It's F A T I M A H T A L I A H. Awesome. And, and I'm I- probably going to be in Jacksonville. Well, yeah, coming up in Jacksonville. Uh, I don't know the venue yet, but me and Henry Coleman trying to do some stuff together. Okay. Uh, Henry's very funny. Yeah. Anything that they could watch? You guys have anything that's on, like up that they could see? My website. Right. Is actually uh, 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 almost done, guys. So I'm gonna have under to construction. Get yeah, it's actually I have to get my logo, my branding. Like oh. most people don't go that route. Like I have to get legal shit hap- like popping, like trademark. There you go. I there have to get go. my LLC. Certain things. Like I have to do a lot of company structuring. Yeah, before I just launch the site. Like I wanted to, but there were steps that I had to take. So now I'm getting ready to do that, so they can find information. And plus, I like put my material out there like that. Uh, I, I'm I'm getting into <laughs> not, not the now. the idea of doing it like little what? little twenty second clips. I mean, yeah, that, that's cool. But not like sets no um, more. I don't yeah. do because yeah. people will take your which mm-hmm. you you should be able to take it back and like make it even better, right? Because sure. that happens. I, I think this is just the myself. land of the stealing right now. Yeah, I, don't know. I don't think we can avoid I'll, it. I mean, I get people tagging me. Like I do this thing called Moesha. Yeah, I love that. That Moesha, Moesha in the Millennium. Do. I do that every Monday on Instagram. But people always send me like somebody doing a diary. Mm, I had a Constantly. white chick in Oakland. I did a show. I tried to steal one of my jokes. I said, so, "Sis, this ain't the season." Now, I will not sis, this ain't pull the up. season. I will pull up. And you see, I you, love this Tierra, Chicago talk. Over. I'm from Harry, but I feel like Tierra is beating more people up than me. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I'm What's your scared. record? You uh, I lost count. 
Like I, yeah. I was literally I like like right, right, last time you fought. Low. After last this time meeting, I'm concerned. I'm on, <laughs> the last I'm go with last fight. I fought when I was at Howard. No, I fought my ex fiance uh ex wife. Oh, shit. <laughs> all right, that's messed up. This was a past right. life, y'all. All right, all right. She's no. reformed. I'm, and she's Oh no, she found her lord now. Yeah, the team have been right, but both of these women are extremely hilarious. Um and they're good friends of mine. They're doing their thing out in LA. So I want you guys to support them. I want to thank both you ladies for talking shit. Being very open and candid, I appreciate that, man. Honest dialogue is what I try to stress, and that's <laughs> definitely culture worthy. So I'm your host, Nick Alexander. You can follow me at Nick of Comedy. This is for the culture. Peace. Turn down for what?